Hey guys, welcome to Craven Caving. Totally appreciate you coming along. I got a good episode for you here. This is a total tourist cave at the lava beds. Only tourists go to this cave. That's where we're going there. No, I'm just kidding. It really doesn't make any sense. Why would I be going to a tourist cave? Uh, this is the number one tourist cave too. It's not just the average tourist cave. This one has lighted pathways, uh, concrete paths, lighted features everywhere, little signs telling you all about them. Yes, it's a complete tourist cave. Why are we going there? Because past the sign that says the end is where I begin. Because it is nothing but craziness past there. This cave keeps going and going and going. Uh, this cave in the back is full of claustrophobia. It's full of squeezies and tight stuff and just like, Whoa! yeah, it's crazy. So uh, you're going to enjoy this video. I had to split it up into two parts. So this is going to be the first episode. There'll be a part two next week. Okay, so this is my main channel. I got my second channel, which is Craving Caving Raw. And on that channel, there is no effects, no editing, or very little editing, and no music. So if you like that kind of thing, I got you covered on that channel. This is my main channel. Uh, over here, I get a lot of artistic input, little background music. We do a lot of editing, fun effects. It's just a fun video. In the back of this cave, there's a feature that looks like a dessert. And if you can figure out what that is, uh, write that down in the comments, send it to me. If it's correct, you're the first one, I will send you a Craving Caving sticker. And I'll start doing some giveaways pretty soon, maybe some t-shirts, stuff like that. Uh, we'll get there. We'll start out small though with some stickers. And I'm looking for a thousand subscribers, trying to get mainstream. So you know, you look up my caving videos, you can find my video. My video is not there right now, but once I get mainstream, it will be. So if you can help me get to a thousand subscribers, I totally appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you're enjoying my videos, please drop me a thumbs up. We love thumbs up. Where's Mojo? Oh, he's back there. He's back there. He's sleeping. But he loves a thumbs up too. So if you can give us some thumbs up, we totally appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. We love your thumbs up. And write in the comments if you've got any questions or ideas or anything. Please just write me in the comments. And we're in the lava beds at Mushpot Cave. And uh, like I said, it's just a tourist cave. But when you see what's in the back, you'll just be like, what? Yeah, I know. Who knew that was in the back? It's really fun. This is going to be a good video. You'll like it. Okay, Mushpot Cave. Roll tape. Okay, so here we are at Mushpot Cave. It's a lighted cave. It's a established cave. It's for tourists. But um, there's no cave that I won't go in. Let's go check it out. Warp speed. Wow, that warp speed was so fast, you didn't even see it. All right, we're here. Caves are more than their surrounding stone. They are a complex interaction of climate, biology, and geology. Look around the entrance and you'll notice mosses and ferns. This area is dynamically influenced by outside weather. As you enter deeper into the cave, the temperature will change along the moisture. Along with the moisture. You are moving from entrance zone into the twilight zone. Woo! -hoo! The formation on the ground in front of you is the namesake for the cave. The mush pot. It was created when lava under pressure bubbled up from the crack below. That is pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we know why it's called mush pie. That is actually really neat. Okay, the Urban Dictionary describes a mush pot as an extreme amount of hair on a bear sized man. I found one other definition of a mush pot. It says an ignorant male that messes things up. Then, when he attempts to fix it, makes everything worse. Pretty cool. 
There's a few of these signs, but this is the last one I'm going to read. Or <laughs> attempt to read, rather. Lava tubes are the complex vascular system of an eruption. During the initial stages of a basalt eruption, molten rock floods the landscape and the area's steep terrain lava moist moves faster, creating a network of tributaries, like arteries in our body, which supply molten material to the fastest reaches, huh, farthest reaches of the flow. The surface of these fast-moving torrents of lava begins to cool and solidify, further insulating the rock below. When the supply of lava to a tube stops, it drains, leaving behind the cast, or what we've heard to, referred to to as a lava tube cave. I was horribly narrated. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let's just turn off the lights. Enjoy this. Oh, this is actually really cool. Been in a cave that was a little, you know, lit like this, so this is interesting. Okay, so look at this. This trip was kind of special for me because on two caves, I expected to have just a touristy cave, and both times I was totally surprised by just looking around and finding that this cave kept going. Uh, Sentinel Cave had a totally another cave system underneath it that I found by looking around. And in the back of this cave where the science is, the end, I kept going and looking around and was shocked because it just keeps going and going and going and going. And the other thing that's really amazing about this cave is, okay, it keeps going in the back, but it's actually really scary and claustrophobic and very tight and it's squeezy all the way in the back. Way in the back of the cave, at the very end, as far as you can go, there is an amazing feature back here you'll have to see. It's so cool. And nobody's probably ever even seen it because who would even think to go past the end of Mushpot Cave, the tourist cave? lighting up different features of the cave. This being the biggest tourist cave in the entire park, I really didn't bring any pads, didn't think I'd need them, didn't think there was going to be anything to explore, didn't think there was going to be anything exciting. So when we get to the end of the cave and I realize it keeps going, we have to pad up and get some lighting. Um, we take care of it a quick way, we'll time warp our way out of there. Believe it or not, I've actually never been in a lighted cave before, so this is all quite new to me. And I find it kind of cool. I think if I was a little kid or someone young and I came into this cave and I saw that, it might actually make me want to be a caver. It's very interesting. I like how they did it. It's not something I personally enjoy as an adult, but I could see this as being something that would be really neat for a tourist or a kid. I can see. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff back here. Yeah, we gotta come back. Hello, tourist cave. <laughs> Off trail attraction. Oh, this is great. We're coming back. Warp speed. Okay, we're all geared up. Ready to go get that mush pie. Let's go get it. Warp speed.
the end it says. Um, not hard. Let's go see what we can see. I have a feeling. <laughs> There's a lot more past the gate. Okay, we just had our uh, GoPro battery died. So we're getting ready to go past the end. I hope you guys aren't scared of the dark. If you are, there's lights in this game. Oh, now I gotta change my headlight battery. Hang on. Are you afraid of the end? I am. And that's why we're gonna go check out what's at the end. Because supposedly that's the end of Mush Pot Don't Go Plastic Skate. Woo! Oh, safety police. Ah, they got me. All right, so the end, huh? Oh my. Oh my god, it's really, really nasty. <laughs> well, what is this? You can't see it, I'm sure, of course, right? Because it has gold all up in there. It's that beautiful bacteria, hydrophobic bacteria. When the hydrophobic bacteria gets condensation on it, it sparkles literally like gold. But you have to be there in person to see it. It doesn't come up on the video for some reason. Okay, look down there. Woo-wee. Pretty cool, huh? That's where we're going. If you're enjoying my videos, please drop me a like. I totally appreciate your likes. Oh, this is great. Look at this. We got action. Might be a dead end, but we're going to leave the lights of society behind. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. Oh boy, it's going to be tough to get to this spot. I'm going to have to take this back off, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just take that off. Okay. Okay, I've sized up the cave a little bit. Now, I'm going to leave my pack behind. Don't really need it for where we're going. It's going to get tight and even tighter from here on out. Man, I'm up on something. Uh, I'm my pack. So that way he sees it and grabs it. Alright, there we go. We should bust out our light, huh? It's a lightsaber going. Ooh, that's different. Sometimes you'll hear the volume cut out in the background, and that's actually me cutting out the scraping noises from my selfie pole scraping across the ground. My selfie pole doesn't have any padding on it. My normal one does, but this one does not. I apologize. Well, it's tight. I'm not... Sometimes I go into an easy cave and it's supposed to be easy and I'm not expecting any kind of a squeezes or tight spots or anything and all of a sudden I find myself in them. It kind of throws me off. I guess it takes a minute or two to adjust from normal to claustrophobia. <laughs> I don't want everything. Oh, it's better not be dead end. I'm gonna try to spot back. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, what's going on? 
definitely not a dead end. Onward. And hard to get the spot. Apparently people don't go this way very often. Who would? Easy tourist cape. We wouldn't think anybody would come in here looking for action like this. <clears throat> Never believe the signs. The end. That's not true. The mushroom is definitely. I'm putting a lot of effort out and you appreciate what I'm doing and I'd appreciate it if you put a little effort out and go ahead and find my channel and subscribe really appreciate it thanks for coming along all my regulars you know who you are Sammy all cats welcome Jimmy Wilson Kenny B Janie Forrest Popov Kitty Unreal Tanya White EXZ Bara Mm, dream, I can't quite say the whole word, but that's somebody's name on my dimension. Oh man, I'm stuck now. Oh, okay, I'm all stuck everywhere. I guess okay, okay, thanks, you guys. I like what I'm doing here. I hope a lot of other people tuning in can give me a subscribe. Oh, I can't. Totally stuck. There we go. Gosh, this is some sticky stuff. Wow, oh really? Are you kidding me? What is back here? Huh? I can't even see. It looks like it keeps going. This is awesome. I can't even believe this. Can you guys believe this? This dead end little 300 foot cave for tourists. This has got some really cool stuff going on right now. Okay. Yeah. Being stubborn. Uh, so this uh, diffuser I got, great. Don't come off. Works great. More information on how to get that one. If it's a particular light, you let me know. I'll get. Uh, okay, nice. We are through, and you're gonna want to check this out. Interesting formation. This is a pretty cool room. It has a neat feature in here. It has this multiple layers where lava has flowed up and hardened and flowed up and hardened and flowed up and hardened and made all these little layers. And in between, it's like, uh, it's like a cake with chocolate icing oozing out. Check this out. Oh, I see some diamonds and a little bit of gold right there. layers very cool <laughs> not cool it's just squirting out in ten layers or just like wow that whole piece is just hanging Woo. All right. let's check something else out that's over on the other side of the entrance here that we can walk through I think Oh, no, I guess not. That's what we're Cool. Well, we're in the back of Mushpot Cave. And what's back here? What is this? Oh, okay. Well, that's a neat little spot. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> this is really cool. This is from like a different flow, obviously. Wow, how neat is that? It's just loop. Look at that. Then it changed. Look to that. Yeah, totally different flow. Wow, smooth. Yeah, this came from a different eruption, not from the original one. This came after it. 
This is pretty neat. I like this floor. It is kind of like chocolate. Hershey Highway, good place to be though. <laughs> wow, this cave keeps going. Uh, let's keep going, huh? I'm excited. We are off. At the very end of this cave, there's a beautiful feature, and the floor that you see right now where it's all rolled should give you kind of a hint. It's a dessert. <laughs> if you think you know what dessert the feature resembles, leave your guess in the comment. And if you're the first person with the correct answer, I'll send you a free Craving Caving sticker. This is definitely not the ending. This cave just keeps going and going. It's going to get scary. Light out of your eyes. Here we go. Because it bubbles up right here, right where this is. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's a nice little pinch here. I don't know if I can get through this. If I can, I can't really see where I'm going. Let's check that first, right? Okay, don't miss part two next week. Uh, that'll be a great episode. It gets really claustrophobic, really scary in the back. Uh, we do find the awesome feature in the back that looks like a dessert. And uh, that is actually at the very end of the cave. So it's kind of neat that that is there. I bet nobody's even seen it before because who would even go into this cave to go look for that? This is like a tourist cave. Nobody would even be looking for what I'm looking for. You know, action. <laughs> the comments about the dessert, if you can figure out what it is so I can send you that Craving Caving sticker, that'll be fun. Back in this cave, there's a feature that resembles a dessert, and if you can figure out what that dessert is and you first want to tell me, I will send you a free caving caving, <laughs> free craving caving sticker. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys had a great time. We'll see you next Saturday. Thanks.